In this video, we're going to divide mixed numbers by whole numbers. So let's start with this example. Let's say we have 5 and 4 over 7, and we're going to divide it by 2. How can we do this? The best thing we could do right now is convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So to do it, let's rewrite the denominator, which is 7. And then the numerator of that fraction will be 5 times 7, and that's 35, plus 4, which is 39. So we have 39 over 7 divided by 2, or we could say divided by 2 over 1. So we can write it like this, 39 over 7 divided by 2 over 1. Now how can we divide two fractions? Perhaps you heard of an expression called keep change flip. And if you have, you know we need to keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So now we can multiply across. And so we have 39 times 1, which is 39. And then 7 times 2, which is 14. So our answer is 39 over 14, but let's convert this into a mixed number. So let's use long division. How many times does 14 go into 39? 14 goes into 39 two times. 14 times 2 is 28. And 39 minus 28 is 11. So this is going to be 2 and 11 over 14. So that's one way in which you can convert a fraction into a mixed number. Another way is you can do it like this. You can break down 39 into 28 and 11. Now you might be wondering, how do you get these numbers? To get the 28, you need to identify the highest multiple of 14 just under 39. Multiples of 14 are 14, 28, 42, 56. 42 exceeds 39, so this is the highest. To find a missing fraction, it's simply 39 minus 28, and that will give you 11. Twenty-eight divided by fourteen is two, so you get two plus eleven over fourteen, which is the same as two eleven over fourteen. So that's the final answer. Now let's try another example. Let's divide the mixed number seven and three over five by three. If you want to try it, pause the video and uh, work on that example. So let's begin by converting the mixed number into an improper fraction, just like we did before. So first, let's multiply 7 times 5, which is 35, and we're going to add 3 to that. So that's 35 plus 3, which is 38. And since the denominator is 5, it's going to be 5 for the improper fraction. And so we're going to divide that by 3 over 1, or simply 3. So we can rewrite this as 38 over 5 divided by 3 over 1. And just like before, let's use keep, change, flip. Let's keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. So now we can multiply across. 38 times 1 is just 38. And on the bottom, we have 5 times 3, which is 15. So let's turn 38 over 15 into a mixed number. So I'm going to use long division for this example. 15 goes into 38 two times. 15 times 2 is 30, and 38 minus 30 is 8. So our final answer as a mixed number is going to be 2. And then we have an 8, and on the bottom, we have a 15. So that's it. 2 and 8 over 15. Now let's move on to our next example, which is going to be 9 and 7 over 8, all divided by 4. 
So go ahead and work on that example. So since we have a denominator of 8, that's going to transfer over to the improper fraction. And then we need to multiply 9 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72. And then we need to add 7. 72 plus 7, that's going to be 79. So we have 79 over 8 divided by 4 over 1. And that's the same as... 79 over 8 times, and don't forget to flip the second fraction, so times 1 over 4. Now, 79, we can't really break that into anything. So I'm just going to multiply 79 and 1. So that's going to be 79. And then 8 times 4, which is 32. So now let's convert this into a mixed number. This time I'm going to use the other method. Multiples of 32 are 32, 64, 96, and so forth. So notice that 64 is the highest multiple of 32 just below 79. So I'm going to break this into two smaller fractions, 64 over 32. And then to find the remaining fraction, take the difference of these two numbers. 79 minus 64, if we subtract them, it's going to be 9 minus 4 is 5, 7 minus 6 is 1, so that's going to be 15. So the missing fraction is 15 over 32. Now 64 divided by 32 is 2, so it's 2 plus 15 over 32. And so the final answer is 2 and 15 over 32 as a mixed fraction. For the last example, I'm going to try to get the same answer using two different methods as opposed to one. So let's get the answer using the first method that we've been uh, using so far. So let's convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. 8 times 6 is 48, plus 5, that's going to be 53. So we know this is going to be 53 over 6, divided by 3 over 1, which is 53 over 6, times 1 over 3. So if we multiply across, that's 53 over 18. And then if we do a long division, 18 goes into 53, let's see, it's 18, 36, and then 36 plus 18 is 54, so it only goes into 53 two times. And if we subtract 53 minus 36, that's going to be 17. So the answer is 2 and 17 over 18. So I'm going to write that in the corner. Let's see if we can get this answer again. So another way in which we can do this is we can split the mixed number into a whole number and a fraction. So what we now have is something called a complex fraction. And to simplify the complex fraction, I'm going to try to get rid of the small fraction within the large fraction. To do that, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 6. So I need to distribute this 6. So 8 times 6 is going to be 48 and then 5 over 6 times 6 the 6 will cancel giving me 5 and so I have 48 plus 5 on the bottom 3 times 6 is 18 and 48 plus 5 is 53 so notice I got the same improper fraction the highest multiple of 18 below 53 is 36 and we know that 53 minus 36 is 17. So this will give us the same answer. 36 divided by 18 is 2. And so it's 2 plus 17 over 18, which is 2, 17, and 18. I mean 2 and 17 over 18. So that's it. That's another way in which you can get the same answer. If you split the mixed number into a whole number and a fraction. 
In my next video, I'm going to show you how to divide a mixed number by a fraction. And I'm going to post a link to that video in the description section of this video. So feel free to take a look at that, and I'll see you next time.